Vroom! Hello and welcome to a new episode of 3 minutes code with Volus. In this episode we will try to program this progress bar graph. We have only 3 minutes so let's do it. To draw these weird shapes we will use some tricks. We will use draw wedge align function. Wedge align is line which have two circles on each end. We can control position of each circle and radius of each circle. Of course in real life wedge line is filled with color 1 and we also need to specify a background color. Like always we will start with this sketch but uh, this time we have a different orientation of the screen. So this sketch is basically the same, this part will adjust brightness, in loop we will call draw function which will draw content of our screen. I will need few colors, grey, and I will need background color. Colors are 16 bit number so unsigned short is needed. I will choose color using this color chooser. Link is in description. I need to copy just this. And background color will be TFT. Okay, let's make graph. Our graph have 12 segments so I will use four function and in four I can just put sprite draw wedge line. First two number are coordinates of first circle, coordinates of second circle, first radius, second radius and color. Starting point will be 60 but which each I we will increment with I multiply by 80. First Y will be 110. I will copy this and second X will be moved for 8 pixels so we will have that angle line here I will have 80 radius radius and foreground color gray background color background let's upload this and we have 12 wedge lines to cover these circles we will put rectangles black rectangles one here and one here and after drawing wedge line we need to draw two rectangles which will hide those nasty circles let's try them let's paint them in red so you can you will better see what is happening and now you can see what I'm talking about. We have wedge lines covered with two rectangles. I will make them black again. Now let's increment our progress bar when button is pressed. I will need variable and let's say progress bar zero is minimum. 100 is maximum. We will declare our first button which is 0 to be input pull up. This is a main concept I use in my, in my example. In a loop I will update variables and I will always draw I will always call draw function which will draw that variables. So if button which is zero if button on pin zero is pressed
progress will increment but only if progress is less than 100. If button is not pressed, progress will decrement, but only if it's larger than zero. And let's draw that progress in Sprite. Let's upload this. And now when I press this button, number will increment and when I'm not pressing, button will release. Now let's show this number here in that graph. We'll need an another variable like segments and we will map segments is equal map progress which is maximum progress is zero uh, minimum is zero maximum is hundred we will map it to zero and twelve And in for function, we will still draw 12 bars, but if i is less than segments, it will be TFT. Fifty white and if it's not it will be gray. This is basic example. Later you can for homework you can add this rectangle and other few elements which will make this look much better. I will share both of the, these examples as well starting sketch. That's it for today. I hope you learned something. In the description you can find code and all these examples and you can also find old episodes. If you want you can buy me coffee or support my channel on Patreon. Goodbye!